G'day guys, we've been given a calculus question today where we've got a window that's made in the shape of a rectangle with a semicircle of radius r meters on top, as shown in the diagram. The perimeter of the window is a constant p meters. So first of all, we're asked to find the area of the window in terms of p and r. Then we have to find the width of the window in terms of p when the area is a maximum and justify that it is indeed a maximum. And then finally, we have to show that in this case, and the case we're talking about is when the area is a maximum, that the height of the rectangle is equal to the radius of the semicircle. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the window in terms of P and R. So to do this, what we're going to first do is we're going to try and calculate the perimeter or find an expression for the perimeter. And to start with, let's just put in our radius of this semicircle, which is going to be here, label this r so we can see that the height of our rectangle what we're going to label this is with h we'll put a h on this side and we're going to have the base of our rectangle is going to be equal to two times the radius now our arc length of the circle rather than a whole circle which is 2 pi r is just going to be pi times the radius so from here, we can pretty easily come up with an expression for the perimeter by just adding all of these together. And we can get the perimeter is equal to 2h plus pi r plus 2r. And from there, we can also, we have to find the area as well. So the area of this shape, let's go, we have area is equal to, we've got the area of the rectangle, which is going to be 2rh plus the area of half the semicircle, or pi r squared, on 2. Now you can see here, guys, that the area is in terms of r and h at the moment, rather than p and r. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange our perimeter formula, so it's in terms of p and r, and substitute it into our area formula. So what we're going to get is we're going to get h is going to be equal to p, subtract pi r, subtract 2r, divided by 2. And what we can do is from here, we're going to substitute this into there. So from here, what we're going to get is we're going to have the area is equal to 2r times, rather than writing h, I'm going to say p take pi r take 2r, all divided by 2, plus pi r squared on 2. Cool, so now we're going to have to simplify this. We can see that the 2's are going to cancel in this bracket, and we're going to be left with area is equal to pr minus pi r squared minus 2r squared plus pi r squared divided by 2. Cool, so from here, the final simplification is pi r squared on 2 minus pi r squared is going to be equal to negative pi r squared on 2. So we finally have area is going to be equal to pr minus pi r squared over 2 minus 2r squared. Cool. So that's part A, section I complete. Okay, now on to part A, double I. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to find the width of the window in terms of P when the area is a maximum. Obviously, we have to justify that it is a maximum. So this is an optimization question for which we're going to have to use the first and second derivatives. So hopefully you guys are aware how to do basic differentiation because I'm not going to explain that in this video. I have other videos if you want to check them out on basic differentiation. So let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to differentiate the area in terms of radius formula that we've got up here. So we're going to find a dash in terms of radius, and that's going to be equal to the perimeter minus pi times the radius minus 4 times the radius. And hopefully you guys are also aware that in optimization questions, when we're finding an optimal point, the value of the first derivative at that optimal point has to be equal to zero. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to rearrange this. So we're going to have r in terms of p. And for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my two r parameters to the right-hand side, and I'm going to be left with p 
is equal to pi times the radius plus 4 times the radius. And I'm going to factorise the right hand side by the radius and I'm left with pi plus 4. So finally what I can do is I can find the width of the window in terms of p at this optimum point by just dividing both sides by pi plus 4. So I can finish up with r is going to be equal to the perimeter, which is a constant, over pi plus 4. Cool. So now what we have to do to get our full 9 marks is we have to justify that this is a maximum. So what we're going to do is for this, I'm going to take my second derivative, and that's equal to negative pi take 4. And as you can see, guys, this is going to be less than 0 for all values of r. So what our second derivative being always less than 0 tells us is that this function is always concave down. So our function will always be concaving down. So what that means is that we can say because this is less than 0 for all values of the radius therefore that r equals the perimeter over pi plus 4 is a local maximum. Okay, for the final two marks, we've got to show that in this case, the height of the rectangle is equal to the radius of the semicircle. So we've got to show that in the case of the area being maximized, that the height of the rectangle is equal to the radius of the semicircle. Okay, so what we're going to do is from back, way back when in the question, this part here, we're going to write down that the height is equal to the perimeter minus pi times the radius minus 2 times the radius over 2. And we also know that at the maximum area that the radius is equal to the perimeter over pi plus 4. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this formula here so I can substitute it into our first formula. So I'm going to rewrite this one as the perimeter is going to be equal to pi times the radius plus 4 times the radius and then I'm going to substitute that in for perimeter in my height equation. So I'm going to have height is equal to, now rather than writing perimeter, I'm going to write pi times the radius plus 4 times the radius minus pi times the radius minus 2 times the radius over 2. Now what is going to happen here is got pi times the radius minus pi times the radius, they will cancel and we're left with 4r take 2r, which is equal to 2r on 2. Obviously, the 2s will cancel out. And we are left with the height is equal to the radius when area is maximized. Great. So let's just do a quick recap of how we got to the final solutions. So for the first one, where we had to find the area of the window in terms of p and r, what we did is we came up with a formula for the perimeter of the rectangle or of the window as well as a formula for the area of the window and we found that the formula for the area was in terms of r and h rather than r and p. So what we did is we rearranged our perimeter formula to substitute h in for h so we could finally after we'd done a little bit of simplification wind up with a solution in terms of simply P and R. So after that, we had to use optimization techniques to find the maximum area of the window as well as justify why it was the maximum. So first of all, we had to take our first derivative and set it equal to zero. So that's what we did there. And then after we'd set it equal to zero, we found what the radius was in terms of the perimeter at that maximum value or at that optimum value, sorry. And what we had to do then is in this part of the question, we had to justify why r equals p over pi plus 4 was indeed a local maximum. So we used the second derivative test. We found that the second derivative is always less than 0 for any value of r. And as a result, because it's less than 0, it means the function is concave down and r equals p over pi plus 4 is a local maximum. And finally, to show that in the case where the area is maximized, that the height of the rectangle is equal to the radius of the semicircle, 
what we first did is we brought down from the starting part of our questions the height formula where height was equal to the perimeter minus pi times the radius minus 2 times the radius all divided by 2 and we also took what the radius was equal at the maximum area i.e. the perimeter over pi plus 4. We rearranged this so we could have the perimeter in terms of the radius so we could then substitute it into the height formula. So what we were doing is we're basically eliminating the perimeter component. After we've done that we did a little bit of simplification by cancelling out our like terms and then we finally came out with height is equal to the radius which is what the question was asking for in the first place. So I hope the video helped guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos a couple of times a week. Um, if you have any questions regarding this video or any problems that you're having with your maths homework, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. But guys, these type of questions require practice. You must practice and practice and practice so the method becomes intuitive. Otherwise, you're going to be banging your head against the wall for a lot longer yet. So again, keep practicing, but most of all, keep enjoying your maths. I'll see you soon.